obviously pretty close, I think. <laughs> um, no, obviously, um, you know, Milos has been here five years. Um, he's part of part of the family of Sydney FC now, and um, we're very happy, obviously, to re-sign him for another two years. And like you said, you know, it's only another two years. Maybe he wants to play longer after that. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll be at the club for the rest of his playing career and I think beyond that as well. Did you, did you think you'd lose him? Um, so yeah, there was a there was a time that um, obviously they made a very good offer for for Milos at the other at the new club, um, but you know we couldn't let him go. He's uh, one of the legends of the club. Uh, like I said, he's been here five years. Probably one of the best players to go around in the A League, and um, you know we wanted to keep him as simple as that. And um, we're very happy for him to stay another two years for his family to obviously stay as well. They they love life in Sydney and. Um, yeah, we're very pleased that we, we got him to re-sign. We've seen what he does on the field. What does he bring to the club and to the dressing room as well? Well, you just heard him. He's, he's such a nice man. Uh, his family's lovely. Um, you know, the moment he got here, uh, the culture that we have at the club, he, he fitted in straight away. He's, he's great for the dressing room, great for what we're trying to achieve with the players that we bring in. Um, and of course, the number one, he's, he's a top guy, but he's a, he's a wonderful footballer. And like I said, he's one of the best going around still. And uh, we are very happy that he, he stayed for another couple of years. There was initially some hesitancy about the, the length of contract for you know, any player of his yeah. age. Are you, what, what prompted you to roll the dice for a two year contract? Well, I think his body's really good at the moment, so I think two years is, is no problem for Milos to keep playing. You know, I played until I'm, I was 37 in a similar position to him. Um, you know, he's a, he's a lot better player than me, but, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll go even probably another year after, you know, the two years that we've, we've given him. So, um, but we're, you know, obviously very happy to give him two years and, and to keep him at the club. It, it is difficult, obviously, you know, especially when a new club comes in, I think that's the most difficult time and especially when, when they're from Sydney, um, you know, they seem to look straight for our players and which is, I think, is understandable and we understand that they made the offer to, to Milos because, uh, like I said, he's the best player going around and um, that's only natural that, you know, a, cl a new club coming in with, you know, a little bit more money that they can spend, it's uh, to throw it about and, um, you know, He's not the only player that we've had, you know, other offers for as well um, at the club. And um, like I said, we're, we're very happy to have Milos re-sign. And now, you know, it's up to, you know, we've got a, quite a few more players to, to do in the next, you know, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Do you think there's going to become a time where you have to let someone really good go because they are the team as a whole is becoming very um, Yeah, it depends on obviously the other club and how much money they offer as well. You know, I think... Um, you know, if we can get close to what they offer, well, then I think uh, they'll stay at the club because they all love playing for Sydney FC and they, the boys have a great um, atmosphere in the change room, so they work extremely hard for each other. They have a great bond and, um, you know, if we can get close to something, what they offer, and I think the boys will definitely stay because they, they want to win trophies, they want to they wanna be here and, and um, you know, do what they do best, and that's win games. Lafondra uh, has a trigger, so they can't. He can't negotiate until the end of the season with anyone, because I'm pretty sure he'll hit his trigger. Um, Braddon, yes, of course, he's he's able to talk to to other clubs. Um, yeah, he's another one that we've spoken to. We obviously are very keen on keeping him as well. But there's a, another two or three players that obviously we we want to resign, or four players, and um, get them over the line as soon as possible. Where does Milos rank? Kind of a difficult question. He's standing next to you, but where does he rank in uh, in terms of Sydney FC's greatest players from next team? Well, I believe he's actually the best. Um, I think he's definitely, yeah, definitely one of the best. You know, we've had a, a lot of great marquee players. Uh, Del Piero, you know, he come out here. For me, I think Milos has probably done more for the club than uh, Del Piero did. If you're talking about winning trophies and stuff like that, he's been here five years and. Basically, from the moment he got here, probably the year after, we, we started to win trophies. And um, so he's done everything for the club. 
It'd be nice to do very well in the Champions League, maybe win a trophy there, that would be great, but that's probably the only trophy he doesn't have at, uh, at Sydney FC. But yeah, for me, he's obviously one of the best.